Hi guys, I'm a Forester here. It's Saturday evening. Normally I make my videos on Saturday morning, but I just had so much yard work to do today that I decided not to make a video. I'm worn out right now, and so I'm gonna to try to relax and make a video uh, this evening instead of this morning. And what I think I'm gonna do is uh, put a few knives up for sale. I've selected these four that you see in front of you uh, to put up for sale. You know, my collection has gotten big enough to where I'm having a hard time justifying adding new knives to the collection. There are knives that I'd like to get, like the Benchmade Bug Out, but I want to try to thin the herd a little bit before I add any more new knives to the collection. Now I'm going to show you one here before the sun goes down, and I want you to see that red color. This is a Kershaw Blur. It's discontinued. It's got the speed assist, assisted opening. And this is one of the very first knives that I ever bought. I don't know that I've even shown this on the channel. I have carried it, and you can tell this one ding right here. Uh, I think that's probably the only scratch on the knife. Let me give you a close-up of the blade. And this has a factory edge on it, even though I've had it for ages. I sent this one back into the factory to Kershaw. They replaced the speed assist tension bar and also put a factory edge on it. So it operates great right now. You know, I do carry this uh, knife, but I'm not a big fan of the assisted opening because there's only one way that's going to come out and it's hard. And so, you know, it's discontinued. I think it's a neat knife to have, especially if you're collecting blurs. Um, the blade is three and three eighths inches long. Of course, the handle scale is anodized aluminum. And this red color in particular is one that is discontinued. I don't know, I haven't seen a red blur lately. But I'm gonna ask $48 for that. So if anybody wants that, um, you know, email me at imaforester at gmail.com. imaforester at gmail.com. Let's see, the next one I'll show is this Almar. I have tried to sell this one before. I've cut the price again, and so I'm gonna ask $179 for this. This is an Almar Eagle. It's the classic model, and it has that, tab, what they call a talon blade. This is basically like new in box. And by the way, I don't have a box for this one, so it comes just like this. All the others have boxes. But this has the, I think they call that honey jigged bone. And it's absolutely beautiful. I think that will look beautiful in the setting sun, sunlight. You know, I got this to be a tactical knife and it was one of the very first tactical knives that I ever bought, but it doesn't have a clip. And so I've not carried it hardly at all because the only way really to carry it is in that leather pouch. So let me set that right right there to where you can see it and I'm asking 179 and the prices that I quote include shipping within the US if you're outside the US just talk to me and we'll see what we can do okay this is one that this is a spider co police and let me give you the model number right there this is one that I've shown on my channel a lot I got it as a tactical knife. I was into tactical knives there for a while. This one is like new in box. You know, usually you can tell if there's wear on the clip that it's been carried a lot. I really do not prefer this for a tactical knife, at least for my carry. And uh, so I haven't carried it much at all. So whoever gets this one is gonna get basically a new Spider Coat Police. And I'm asking 119. I've lowered the price on that one from what I was asking before. This is 119. And let me give you a close up of the blade. All right, and the last one that I'm going to offer up for sale is a Macusta. This is a nice gentleman folder. It comes in a nice pouch. And this pouch, I 
you know, this pouch you put in your pocket, this pouch you carry on your belt. So this is much more convenient and I have carried this one. Okay, this one I'm gonna offer at the same price as that Spyderco Police. This is 119 also. This is the only Damascus blade that I have in my collection. Let me show you the other side. This is very sharp, and I think uh, I said that this was possibly the sharpest knife out of box of any knife I've ever bought. This is Cocobolo wood grips. Let me give you a good picture of that. This shows those facets cut out of it. It's got that little attitude adjuster on the end or glass breaker. It's fairly stiff action, and I noted that in a review that I did of it, although I think it's looser now than it was then. So these two, I'm asking 119, this one's 179, and the Kershaw Blur is 48. All of those prices include shipping. You can comment below or send me an email at imaforester at gmail.com. Y'all have a good evening, good weekend, enjoy this weather. Y'all take care.